The 90D doesn't have C-Log, it's a DSLR, it's not a mirrorless, so it might be obsolete. No, I'm, I'm not selling it for that, because as I said, I just love the Canon 90D and the results I get from it, especially for video. What's up guys, Dan Furlani here and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna tell you why I'm about to sell my Canon 90D. Why would I do that? Well, let's start from the beginning. I got this camera when it came out in 2019 and I've been using it so much for everything, both for my professional works and for my YouTube channels and I really enjoyed it the entire time. Even now, I love shooting with it. Have it here right now uh, there is attached to it the 135 millimeters because the last time I used it I used it for portraits and man the results were incredible then I got the Canon R6 which is filming right now and then last year I got the Canon R7 here I have it and even though the Canon R7 is such an awesome camera and from the beginning I considered it a natural upgrade for the Canon 90D, I never stopped using the 90D because, especially for video, it has character, a strong character. The 90D doesn't have C-Log, it's a DSLR, it's not a mirrorless, so it might be obsolete. No, I'm, I'm not selling it for that, because as I said, I just love the Canon 90D and the results I get from it, especially for video. I think one of the main reasons why made me decide to not to get rid of it, but rather to separate myself from it, it's because with it I can use EF and EFS lenses, which is a good thing, but I cannot use the new RF lenses and I use EF lenses because of its crop sensor, they get a crop. Something that happens also with the Canon R7, but with the Canon R7 I can use RF lenses, of course, it's a mirrorless, and I can use EF and EFS lenses with an adapter, but also if sometimes I don't want the crop, I don't want the 1.6 crop, well, no problem, because I can use a speed booster. It's an adapter that increases the field of view times 0.71, so the Canon R7 can become a kind of like a full frame camera, and with the Canon 90D, I can't do that, because it doesn't need any adapter, it works with EF and EFS lenses, and that's it. There's no way to make it look like a full frame. But okay, okay, you don't buy a crop sensor camera just because you can make it look like a full frame later with an adapter. No, no. The Canon 90D doesn't have C-Log, the Canon R7 does. But with the 90D I can use Technicolor Cine style, which is not completely like C-Log, but it does give us some flexibility to do some color grading. The Canon R7, like the Canon R6, can shoot in 10-bit, the Canon 90D 8-bit, and that's a kind of a limitation, yeah. It is, when it comes to shooting videos. The Canon 90D doesn't have stabilization, the Canon R7 does, but do we really need stabilization to shoot cinematic videos? We don't really need it. I always say that cinema cameras don't have stabilization. If we need a scene to be extremely smooth and without any shaking, we can just use a gimbal or a tripod. But also, the 90D has electronic stabilization that works fine. The super slow motion of the Canon 90D is in 1080 without autofocus. The Canon R7 keeps the autofocus while shooting high frame rates. But as I already said in many videos, that's never been an issue. I got used to it, so no problem. So why am I selling it? For two reasons. 
one to be able to invest in more gear actually to put money aside when some next good awesome camera will come out and i will want to buy it i don't want to wait till then then it might be too late and the price of this camera might go too low so this is i think one of the main reasons besides the fact that i cannot use rf lenses with it another reason is because even though i will sell this camera i will still be able to use it because it's not the only 90d i've been using i still have access to it not this one in the specific another one and i'll be using it to make videos also i mean also videos for this channel so i'm selling this unit but i have another one available well in the end also keep in mind i'm a youtuber and my mentality is to always look for something new whenever i have the chance so even though i fall in love with a camera i will still be looking for more and that'll never change like a casanova for what concerns cameras and I'll tell you, I might even decide to sell my Canon R6, which I love, literally, but sometimes the overheating issue really drives me crazy. Today, for the first time, the Canon R6 overheated. So I'm just gonna have to wait now. Can't believe it. I really wasn't expecting it. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I have to wait. <laughs> and it overheated again. And not only for that, but we'll see. What are the options when it comes to new cameras? I already said in another video that right now there's no camera, awesome camera for a decent price that attracts me. We'll see what happens with Canon. Otherwise, I'll consider other brands like Sony, for example. All right, that's all I wanted to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh yeah!